the Hawaiian Islands are a magnet for sharks, drawing them in from all over the Pacific. And where you get sharks, you get a certain kind of marine biologist, fascinated by their mystery, drawn to danger. I started off working with hammerhead sharks and thought that they were this ungainly, ugly, strange animal and over the years have come to just admire it tremendously for its sophistication and maneuverability and absolutely antithesis of being ungainly. Kim Holland has been studying sharks in Hawaii for nearly 20 years. When you're dealing with any large shark, you've got your hands full. Kim started looking for a connection between their biology and shark attacks on people. By understanding their movements and feeding behavior, he hoped to learn what makes some sharks dangerous. We have to study the adults by putting an identification tag on so that if somebody else catches that fish, so oh, here's fish number 27, it was tagged in Hawaii in December, and now we find it in Tahiti. Right here is the old tag, number 312. With two decades of shark research, Kim is well aware of the risks. Because they're such a big animal, yeah, you have to be careful and you have to take your time and, and get it right. What sex have we got here? Female. OK, and the tape coming to you. Turning sharks on their back is one of the tricks of Kim's trade. It puts them into a trance-like state. No one knows exactly why this happens, but it makes tagging and measuring an adult tiger shark possible. Ready? Yep. Total is 213, 213. Okay, let's get the hook out of this guy, send her on her way. Three. 